Everybody loves slow motion, and that's what we're talking about in today's video. Some tips and tricks for you on how to get some beautiful slow motion footage, what settings and frame rates to use, as well as how to optimize your slow motion in Premiere Pro. Let's get started. Welcome back guys, and today we're jumping right into our slow motion video today. How to get beautiful, smooth, and slow motion footage without breaking the bank. Heck, you can even use your cell phone. In fact, this clip right here was shot entirely on my cell phone. Nothing else, just my slow-mo setting on my phone. And the beauty of today's world is that you can mix and match your footage from your cell phone, your GoPro, your mirrorless camera. It doesn't matter. You don't need the most expensive gear. Honestly, most clips are going to be shown for a second or two anyways. So you can throw it in there and it really doesn't matter if you have the best quality. So guys, today's video, you should know the basics. If you don't know what shutter speed is, if you don't know what frame rates are, maybe go learn that and then come back here. And if you do know the very basics, I'm gonna challenge you to go ahead and make an awesome video with what you have available to you. So guys, the very first thing I want to ingrain in your brain, the number one rule is that your shutter speed should be double your frame rate. So I want you to ingrain that inside your brain over and over because that's gonna save a lot of headache when you get home and realize that you weren't shooting at the proper shutter speed. It can make for some weird looking footage. So the very first rule, I'll say it again, make sure your shutter speed is double your frame rate. If you're shooting at 30 frames per second like I am here, my shutter speed is gonna be around 60. If you're shooting in 120 frames per second, you're gonna want your shutter speed around 250. So it's really that simple, but it's very important that you keep that in your mind at all times when shooting slow motion. So for those of you who don't have the ability to shoot in 120 frames per second, maybe you have 4K 30, there are some ways to get some smooth, beautiful footage, kind of by cheating in Premiere Pro. So we're gonna dive in, I'm gonna show you some tricks and some workarounds so that regardless of what you're shooting with, you can get some beautiful footage. Let's check it out. Here's the same clip three times, edited with only one minor change. Look at the drastic difference that it can make, and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that. So here we are in Premiere, and the clip that we're looking at is actually shot in 120 frames per second, and it was in 1080, and what we've done is slowed it right down to 5%. So obviously at 5%, that's not enough frames to fill our 30 frames per second timeline. So what we're gonna do is let Premiere Pro do the heavy lifting. If you right click on your clip, go up to speed duration. On the bottom, you're gonna see something called time interpolation. Now automatically it's set to frame sampling, but we have three different options. So depending on what you're looking for, these three options are gonna do different things. Frame sampling is gonna repeat or remove frames. Frame blending does the same sort of thing, but it adds a blend between the frames, giving it that nice smooth look. And Optical Flow is actually gonna create new frames by looking at the frames around it to try and make it look the best that it possibly can. Now each setting is gonna have its own look, and you're gonna have to decide which one's gonna look best for you, depending on your clip. If you're not pushing your slow motion editing too far, Optical Flow does a fantastic job it is going to use the most resources of the three processes. I find that it's going to work best for slower scenes when you're not pushing the limits. And as you can see here with some fast paced action shots, it does get a little bit weird when you don't have enough frames to choose from. So messing around with this one setting is going to drastically improve your slow motion footage. Here's a few scenes that I put together showing you exactly what you can do without using higher frame rates. I hope this quick video and these tips helped you out guys. If it did and you want to see more just like it, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. See you next time.